It's your host of Crypto Wonder. Hope you're doing well. Let's get right into it. You know, some people apparently uh, who are in the community, you know, that talk about, you know, when with respect to hacks, you know, some people that I guess they're right now feeling some form of frustration because you know their predictions didn't work out as far as thinking that pulse chain mainnet launch would have been launched at some point last week right and then you have people who are also in the community who are criticizing those individuals who've been frustrated. In a sense, it's not that I've been criticizing, I've just been kind of presenting information so people could decide for themselves which way to go. My position hasn't changed in a sense where you have no control over any of this going on right now, so you're better off taking a break or relaxing in a sense of stop getting all worked up. What's the use in getting all excited when you're not sure either way? And if it doesn't pan out, if it doesn't come out on the date that you're thinking or predicting that is coming out, how's that going to make you feel? Why go through that? But you know what? Whatever. My thing is I'm not going to put myself through those changes. That's me, though. That's me. That's as much criticism as I've offered in that in that sense where people creating all types of ideas and, and, and trying to predict when Pulse Chain Mainnet launch is going to... Like, we've been waiting for almost two years. Why... Are you put, putting yourselves through all this, this mania? We're not going to be given notice. Like what? You're not respecting that? Like, I don't know. If you don't respect it, then you got to deal with the roller coaster emotions that you're putting yourselves through. For me, it doesn't work. I remember November. I remember 2021, you know. People were speculating that it's going to come out November 18, 2021. If you're around then, you know what I'm talking about. And the founder went on a live stream visibly, visibly upset. Telling the community, no, it's not coming out November 18, 2021. And that people need to like, you know, get a life in so many words. Last year was May, a year ago. This time, last year. Richard somewhat alluded that it was going to come out in May because this is what his developers told him. One developer and then found out another developer came behind him and said that, no, it's not going to be May, etc., etc. But he said May and everyone held him to the fire and he got cooked for it because it didn't come out last year. And what did he say? He's never going to give any kind of timeline. Number one, he's always been incorrect. This is what he said. He's always been incorrect with timelines. And he's not going to do it anymore because he got cooked. Meaning, basically, the community attacked him. For not having the right date. Now, or not having the right... for For the chain not launching, for him being wrong, that's... And so a year 
into the future, right now, present day, modern day. People are still going through this. You're still putting yourselves through that for what? Nobody who sacrificed really has control over when this thing is going to come out or not. And you know what I mean? Like the majority, I could easily say. And and this doesn't really even imply. This is another thing that I've been seeing too in the community. By community members. It's crazy. To me. This is like crazy to me. There's some people that really think that the majority of the people who sacrificed, they believe that the majority of people who sacrificed are drinking the Kool-Aid in a sense where we're just stupid. We know the world once, it will, you know, the world at large who don't understand anything about DeFi, they won't, they will, all of them will think us that we're dumb. Blanket, general, I could just say that easily because people don't know what they don't know and they don't understand what they don't know. Fine, granted. But when you have individuals that in this community who believe that the majority of the people in this community are just drinking the Kool-Aid in a, in a sense they're just like buying into whatever we're told as if we can't think for ourselves. This is where the whole thing about cult mentality thing comes in, right? Right? The whole herd mentality, tribalism thing comes in, right? Where you, it's just like do or die. You just got to, you know, whatever. Go with whatever the leader says and believe everything the leader says dismissing the fact that you're dealing with people you did not only are you dealing with human beings and there's certain members of the community who are not dumb okay you gonna tell me 40,000 dumb people sacrifice for pulse chain you gonna tell me a hundred thousand dumb people sacrifice a pulse X? Right? Because the 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 sentiment from some of these people are that the the community just believes everything the founder says. If you really believe that. That's on you. But everyone in this community, you can't give a blanket statement for everyone in the community and just say, oh, these people are, all of them are this, or all of them are that, or all of them are brainwashed, all of them are cult members, all of them just want to, you know, drink the Kool-Aid. You can't generalize because, you, first of all, you don't know the 40,000 who did what they did and the 120,000 who did what they did. And everybody has a mind of their own. And you have folks out here that are not about funding games, including me. I like to have a good time. But at the same time, when it comes to money, things, things are a tad bit more serious than not. Do you do you really believe and this is for those people who think that everybody just buys into the Kool-Aid. Do you did you not were you not here, community member, were you not here in twenty twenty two when Richard decided to go on this campaign, this rage campaign? Did you not hear some people who've been like diehard Richard fans go against him? Like just literally just go against everything Richard was doing as far as the, was just like, not everyone was on board with that. You had some people who didn't care, sure. But my whole point is not everyone is going to be drinking a certain Kool-Aid from the founder 
because that's just not how life is. Understand what's going on here. Like, what type of chess player are you as a community member? You know what I mean? Like, do you know how to even play chess? If someone to this day like myself has been saying, no expectations, no expectations, right? And you understand the whole premise of what no expectation is all about and what it's related to. Do you think I'm drinking somebody, drinking the Kool-Aid, going along? Like, I guess folks don't can't see past what they think because people are limited to their own understanding and they think their own understanding is the absolute truth sometimes. And that's not necessarily the case all of the time. You have, again, how many thousands of people that have sacrifices, sacrificed? I don't care if folks had multiple wallets or whatever, whatever. You have all these, all these situations that have taken place. Do you not think for a second that the crypto world and the DeFi world, those who've been, you know, in this space are watching what's going to happen. You think that you, you, you don't think people are paying attention to what's going to happen. Richard has been very vocal in the past about identifying good practices in crypto versus bad practices and bad actors, right? Right? He has been the target and subjected to ridicule, the target of hate. More people, more people in crypto just can't stand him than those who can. Maybe that's changed which within the last year because his following has grown since the outrage marketing, but I'm not sure if it's grown for the right reasons. Guess what? Who cares? He's just trying to bring more eyes to him and what he talks about with respect to cryptocurrency, peer-to-peer following certain principles that have been absent, that people have been ignoring and, and, and hurting and wrecking the majority of retail investors to date and trying to warn people about those things. Do you think that this man who started this whole sacrifice thing, created this whole sacrifice style of investing in crypto, playing with crypto, I should say, do you think he's not going to be held accountable even with the ever-present disclaimer that has been plastered everywhere about no expectations of profit from the work of us. Do you think for a second that, and I'm not saying anything is going to happen, that's wrong, but do you think for a second that he's not even holding himself accountable by saying that? Like really, in truth, think about this, y'all. He's putting himself out there. More than what these people who criticize, they call the community cult members, are doing. More than they can ever do. He's put himself out there. Taking hits every direction, risk every direction, all kinds of things every direction. Do you not think for a second, like, like, Think about what y'all talking about, man. You had one investor last year who damn near went on a Twitter tirade. And he got a lot of crap for it. Talking about how he got rich friends and they all, you know, waiting and this thing better come out. And he was like really targeting the founder. Do you not think, like, think like y'all with this weird analysis thinking that the majority of the people in this space in this community are just drinking the Kool-Aid 
and and what you think we we believe you think most of us believe Richard can do no wrong are you out of your rabbit ass mind don't include me in that group in that conversation cuz i'm not the one who's going to act like one person can do no wrong in this world that would signify some type of level of, of, of divinity, of high noble sense that I have yet to see in my life, in my lifetime. Nobody out here is perfect. And when you're dealing with money and certain things that involve it and, and folks that are in it and been, you know, participating for a while, we're far from, I'm far from a fool. Make it make sense. Y'all like think you know what you're doing. And then those who scream, oh, that this is all a cult. Look at them cult members. They're, they're buying into everything this guy is talking about. Look at them like sheep about to be slaughtered. All this talk. Y'all not, you know. Uh, 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 putting the blame where it needs to be. You guys are going to let him get away. This is how you guys get taken advantage of, taken advantage of because you buying into the Kool-Aid. Are you effing serious? What are you doing? Since you also are a community member, what are you doing to ensure that you think that nobody's being held responsible? So what is it you're doing to hold said, pe said person responsible? They can't tell you. They can't tell you, but they could tell you about you and what, what, what they think you're doing. They act as if they know. They have a pulse, pun intended, on everything that's going on within the community and the sentiments and the ideas and the overall feeling of the community. They take a sample of one or two you know, whatever tweets and messages here and there, and they just broadly apply, apply a broad stroke to everything based on the opinions of a few. You think that's how everybody feels? Hell to the no. I guess, again, people don't, you know, this is multifaceted. This is a multi-layered type of situation. That's why I said, have you ever played chess before in your life? And maybe you have, and maybe you're not that great of a player. This is why some people, they could only go but so far in life. And it's not to display or insult anyone. It's just a fact. We all have our limitations. And we hit a point where we just reached our whatever, our maximum potential and can't go further than that. No matter how much we try or whatever. And, some, and this is the type of this is the type of sentiment I have for folks who have commentary about how the majority of the community are just somewhat like walking dead zombies. Listening and agreeing with everything you say. Are you crazy? It's far from the truth. It's far from the truth. Watch what, you know, and let me just be clear, right? Let me just be clear because y'all, you, know, you know, some people, they just love bitterness. They love to be bitter, uh, somewhat jaded, right? They just carry this energy of, of, of pessimism, right? Everything is just this, this self-defeating type of thought patterns, it's weird to me. And the reason why I say it's weird, too, is because you get, you know, these are people who <clears throat> it's not even outsiders, per se. It's not even outsiders. We're not talking about people. You're not talking about folks who are just absolutely away from crypto, no corners or people who are dealing with other communities, other blockchains. We talk about folks within the community. Who believe this type of stuff. Who say these things. Well, you say something a little weird. 
always expect a, po- a different point of view and perspective. Because I know even with the, the points I brought up, you're always going to have an opposing view. I get that. I, I, I get that 100%. But one thing I'm, I'm not going to accept is if you believe that everyone in this community doesn't have a mind of their own and everyone is just buying into the Kool-Aid like we're the Borg from Star Trek. One brain, <clears throat> one community, one brain, right? Speaking and thinking and saying the same thing at the same time all at once. It doesn't work like that. It's not how this is. This is real, this is real talk, like, you're not looking forward to opportunity, a potential opportunity to, to enjoy like a great experience in crypto so that you can really financially be rewarded. You're not looking forward to that. People hold on to certain things. Like, yeah, but you saying no expectation, no expectation, no expectation. Yeah, I'm saying no expectations because there's no expectations. But you, you guys are so so simple. And, and I'm not necessarily speaking to the viewers and saying you guys as far as a whole community. I'm talking about the the people who are criticizing, who are throwing stones at glass houses throwing stones and hiding their hands, who are in the community. You know, certain weird fruit, rotten apples. That's who I'm addressing. Been talking about no expectations since July 2021. The whole time been talking about no expectations. The whole time, no expectations. What does that really mean to you? Do you, you know, like think. Think. No expectations, but I've been talking about it for, for 21 months. For example. No expectations, though, but I've been talking about it for 21 months. And people, you know, they just, they don't, they simply don't get it. They simply don't get it. That's why, folks... People are going to be, you can't change folks. You could only work on yourselves to seek some type of betterment, improvement, and whatever. You could only work on yourselves. I'm presenting information, laying it out on the table. This is what it is. And I'm going to say this last thing before I bounce. If nothing pans out, this is the this is the realest it could it could even be said realest realest thing like if there's no nothing that comes out from no expectations and it really nothing materializes do you not think for a second that somebody's gonna have to answer well okay then okay because that's how people are. Like I've always said, money brings money just emphasizes who you really are. Some people are just crazy. Some are mature, some are balanced, some are arrogant, some are selfish, some are compassionate, all of the above. But if 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 these things don't materialize after a certain point, do you think, do you think for a second that the tides won't turn? And people won't look for accountability and point fingers looking to blame. You think you think you don't think the head of all this won't be the target? That's just being real. Come on now. But then again, I put that in the imaginary horrible bag. But you know, if I do that, oh, but I'm drinking the Kool-Aid. Who cares? How about that? 
who cares? There's those of you who scream, oh, where's the, where's the, uh, you know, y'all letting him get away. Well, get away with what? What can you do? But live life. What can you do? This is what this was, this is what was presented. What can you do? And you bought into the presentation too. This is the thing. Folks bought into it. You bought into it. You may be pissed off because you you put too much more that you could really afford to lose and you pissed. It's not everybody else's problem. That's something you got to deal with. <laughs> Period. That's something you got to deal with. Don't deflect. Don't project. Don't do any type of counter transferring anything. It's your plight, conundrum, your issue. You deal with it. But then you're going to say things like crypto isn't a solo sport. <laughs> right. Yeah, right, because it's all about community, right. A community of people doing individual transactions. Individual. Key operative term. Individual transactions. I tell you, I'm just, you know, my perspective is glass half full. Others are glass half empty. Maybe it's two sides of a, uh, you know, of the same coin. I get it. I get the, the 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 frustration, the angst, the bitterness, the anger. I get all of that. Well, it doesn't mean I have to embrace. Embrace. It's like if you don't get angry, if you don't get pissed off, if you're not, you know, constantly irate and vehemently charged and vexed. You're just a zombie, Kool-Aid drinking cult member of Hex. That's what, that, you know, what? And you possibly don't know what you're talking about. And it's sad, like, you just got to maybe stick around more if you even care and see what the what, what, what certain things are, really. How you play the game matters.